welcome back to my channel and if you're new super special welcome to you my name is Alyssa Marie and I'm so glad that you're here today we are getting into a little chit chat get ready with me I'm so excited because I was invited to attend the Savage X Fenty new store launch here in Atlanta they are launching an actual physical in-person store in Lenox Mall and I cannot wait if you know me you know that I am a huge huge fan of Queen Riri and everything that she does it, her herself she's just a massive inspiration for me especially as a Caribbean girl I just obsessed so of course I was beyond excited to get the invite for this event which is today and we're about to get ready for it right right now I also kind of want to show you guys like my new vibe with makeup what I've been loving so far all the new products I've been using lots of new products actually and yeah we're about to just chit chat dig into all of it so let's get it popping all right, so first I am just gonna start by priming my face. This is the Peach and Lily Skin Shield Blurring Primer. It protects and smooths the skin. I just got done watching Rihanna's interview actually. So as I'm filming this, this weekend, I believe, is Super Bowl weekend, you know, she's performing. So she just did an interview with Apple Music and they're just talking about just, you know, how she's prepping and how she's feeling and all that stuff and I just love this woman she's just such a vibe she's just so strong and confident in herself and just an overall just massive inspiration I'm really excited to see her Super Bowl performance <laughs> I've been like trying to think like I wonder what song she's gonna do it would be really dope if she did pun to replay because that was one of my favorite like literally that's where I discovered Riri I'll be screaming and probably crying if she does that <laughs> why am I so I'm such an emotional person like literally when I was watching her interview I got emotional when she was talking about you know being a Caribbean woman so lately for my brows I haven't actually been using brow pencils I've just been using a tinted brow gel to kind of lay it up and make it still look kind of that laminated kind of effect but then because it's tinted it kind of fills in the holes in my eyebrows I don't know it just feels like it gets the job done for me in one step instead of two and in particular this one by kosas is bomb.com but yeah it's so funny like i'm such an emotional kind of person i just feel things very deeply and just watching her interview i literally was like tears were coming to my eyes because she's just so inspirational she's amazing and i just feel like it just hits different especially you know from a caribbean girl to see another caribbean girl absolutely killing it dominating the world is just it's it, it's special and it hits different anyways i was low-key hoping that she was gonna be at this event like you know wishful thinking i would have absolutely lost my like absolutely lost my mind it, i would have probably fainted or something but it looks like miss thang is really busy prepping for this super bowl performance doing rehearsals all of that stuff she's in arizona so it looks like probably not but anyway i'm still really excited to go i mean knowing riri the store is about to be an entire entire vibe and don't don't clock me for the brows yet this is how we start i like brush them upwards and then i like to take a flat brush and kind of just put them back down a little bit this is what's gonna give your brows that super nice like really full feathered look so in speaking of queens and very exciting news your girl got beyonce tickets I'm just gonna put it out there right now. If I had to choose one or the other, Riri is top notch for me. She's top dog for me, okay? I am navy all the way, okay? But I do still love me some Beyonce, especially Renaissance Beyonce was an entire vibe. I don't even think, honestly, don't come for me. I feel like the beehive's gonna come for me, but personally, okay, I'm just sharing how I feel. Before Renaissance, I don't think I would have been excited or been like, oh my god, oh my god, I have to go to a Beyonce concert. You know what I mean? But when she dropped the deeds on the Renaissance World Tour, I was I registered immediately. My mom got access and we're going to see Beyonce. 
I'm not typically like your concert girly, but this one I am super, super excited about. We got nosebleed seats. I did not feel like spending a thousand dollars, but I just know it's still going to be an absolute entire vibe. It's going to be electric and I can't wait. I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. I wear the shade seven. Nine times out of 10, this is all I've been wearing on my skin. In terms of like whether or not I'm wearing foundation, like this is it. This doesn't really have any coverage to it, but it still has like some color to it. So it like evens your skin tone. And I just love that look. I've just been wearing this with a little concealer under the eyes, on the chin and stuff. And that's basically it. A super light complexion has been my favorite thing, especially since my skin has been I mean, on and popping is doing really well. I do have a little pimple here and some little ones under there from this last period cycle. Hormonal acne, y'all already know. But nothing anywhere near as bad as I used to get like on my cheeks and everything. So very happy with how my skin has been doing and therefore with makeup, I have just been really enjoying going a lot lighter. I'm still trying to decide whether or not I want to wear like a skin tint or I don't think I want to wear foundation, but maybe, maybe the Fenty skin tint. I mean, it's Fenty day. It's all about Riri. So I'm going to use actually as much Fenty as I possibly can. But before we actually get into complexion, I have now been doing eyes first because I have been having a lot of fun with doing wings on my eyes. I honestly didn't even know that I could do a wing on my eye until one day I was just like, let me just try it. And then I did it and I was like, wow, I kind of really enjoy this. That has been my vibe. The light complexion, skin showing through with a little cute surprise on the eye, a little creativity going on and that's it. Signature lips the same, that hasn't changed. The dark brown lip liner and gloss, that's basically the look that we're gonna go through today. And I just, that is the era I'm in right now. I did wanna try something a little fun today for the wing, I, want to try white eyeliner and then we're gonna do the kiss false cara which is really cool i'll show you that in a second but i really want to get this eyeliner on first if i could get it open that would be really good the reason why i really like to do my eyeliner first as well is so that just in case we have any mess ups and if i decide Screw it, let's not even do eyeliner anymore. It's just very easy to wipe it all off. You don't have to worry about wiping off any anything else because we haven't done anything else yet. But let's just see, I wanna do just like a simple white liner. Just a simple little wing, a little doo doo, and that's it. So this is how we're looking and then I'm thinking with some lashes. It could be cute, but it's just looking a little like Juga juga to me, whatever that means. Should we outline her with black? I think that might give me the vibe that I'm going for. So we're just gonna go for it. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of feeling like I just wanna go in with a regular black wing. Okay, see, this is exactly why I was telling y'all that I'd like to do eyeliner first, just in case I decide to change my mind. Nice and simple, yes. This is definitely more the vibe I'm going for today. Okay, so this is coming along. It is now time for the star of the show. I need to introduce y'all to Fall Scara. This is amazing, okay? So I tried this literally like a day ago, two days ago for the first time ever, and it has completely changed my life. If you like your lashes to look very, very natural, and if you struggle to put on lashes in order to make them look really nice and realistic and stuff, this is going, this is the new brand new way to do lashes. So this is how it looks. It's not like a lash brand. It comes as individuals. And instead of going on top of your eye, it actually goes underneath your eye. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply and everything. It is literally super quick and easy. To me, in my opinion, I feel like it's mostly foolproof and it's my new favorite thing ever. So I have a bunch of different styles. Like look, this is the thing I like about it is because you can do all kinds of customizations. There's like these big dramatic ones, thick ones. There's ones that add length and stuff. There's different sizes and everything. Okay, I'm gonna go for this multi-pack that is called So Extra Wisps. There's different sizes. So there's small, medium, and large, but I really like how wispy these are. I tend to gravitate towards like a really nice wispy lash. Really, there's just two things to it. There's a bond and the seal. So the bond is what you start out with 
with first and you just brush that on to your natural lashes. And then they have this applicator tool. And then I'm just going to sit this on the outside of my eye. Underneath. I think I'm gonna go for medium next. So I ended up doing one large, one medium, and then two smalls. And this is how it looks. Nice, quick, and easy, and there's no like band on top, so no one's gonna be able to clock you and be like, oh, you didn't put the band on right. No, it's underneath, so you can't see anything. I think this is actually so perfect looking for this event, because I'm not trying to go like too crazy, but my vibe is very like, I didn't try, but I'm put together. You know what I mean? Like an effortless type of vibe. Once you're done applying, you just go in with the seal to seal it all in. And that's it. The cool thing about these is that you can wear mascara with them. I personally feel like I'm getting the vibe that I already want from these. So I don't think I need mascara with these, but you can if you want to. And they also have this overnighter product. So if you wanted to wear these like lash extensions and get it to last a while, 10 days, it says 10 days, you can brush this on and this will get them to just stay on your eyes for 10 days, which is crazy. I just think it's really cool what Kiss has done here. They've literally gone and made lash extensions nice and quick and easy and inexpensive for you to do yourself at home. It's so crazy the difference that a little bit of lash can do to the face. Hello, hello, I have arrived. So cute, okay. So eyes aren't 100% finished because I think I might do some eyeliner under here maybe or maybe just some like nice mascara so it can be light and just wispy looking. I don't know. But I want to dig into this complexion next. So let's get into that. I'm going to go in with some concealer first. Again, very different from the order I used to do for my makeup, but this is just how I've been feeling. Um, so I'm going to go in with the 9 Tan shade of the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. I'm just gonna put that here. I really just like to use this for brightening purposes. And this concealer, y'all, let me tell you, it is beautiful. The way it just sinks into the skin is amazing. And then I'm gonna use the same concealer, but in the shade 1110. And just kind of put that on the outer. So like for me with makeup, you can kind of see here. Once you have a good lash going on, a good eye situation, and you have a little concealer to kind of wake the face up, boom, it's like already, like we're there. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my regular degular holy grail, won't ever change, translucent powder by Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Honey. I'm just tapping this into the skin, just right here. I'm not even going out there because I like to keep my cheeks nice and dewy for a natural kind of glow. So I'm just really using it to set the very inner part of my under eye. This also hasn't changed. I still really, really love the NARS Light Reflecting Loose Powder in the darker shade, Mesa. I really just love to use this as my bronzer. It's just so good, it's so perfect. All right, and then we're gonna marry it all together with some blush. I need to introduce y'all to the best new blush in the game for us melanated people. Tinted came through for us. Okay. If you don't know Tinted, Tinted is literally, well, it's called Live Tinted. They are literally a brand about tinted people made for the brown girls by brown girls. And I love it. So they sent me this blush, which is like a duo of a blush and bronzer. You can see at the bottom there, it gets really like more brown. Oh my gosh. I love this blush and this is actually the brush that came with it i used this smaller side for like the contour if you will the bronzer and then now i'm going to use this part and i'm just going to tap it like right in the center to get that pinky and use it for some blush it is so pretty and it's really pigmented so i just like to take my time and just lightly apply it and just layer it on slowly it's very easy to get carried away with this product i'm gonna also go in with my regular you know the charlotte tilbury setting powder this is in the shade 210 and i really just use it as like a finisher it also helps the kind of blend in the blush part a little bit so it's not just like 
a chunk of pink blush. I like to use this to just blend into like the highlighted area and then the blush can kind of just get married together and it's less choppy and just more airbrushed. I love just how clean and simple but like really pretty this entire look is coming out so far. You know what, now that we're in 2023 and I'm really aiming for our wedding to finally be next year, wedding planning is definitely starting to come back to the back of my mind. And so I really feel like lashes like this would be absolutely perfect for a wedding day and for the honeymoon after. I would do the overnighter thing so it could stay on. So cute. All right, so I told y'all about a game changer blush. Now I need to tell y'all about a game changer highlighter. I haven't used highlighter in a while, but this has brought me back into the highlighter game. This is the brand new Hollywood, what did they call it? It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. It's a very long name, but when I tell you that this is, oh, let me just show you. This is one of those highlighters that just look genuinely wet on the skin. On the skin, do you see it? Do you see it? And I just like, same thing with the blush, I kind of just like to go in with a little bit at a time and just keep layering it. But like, look at how wet and juicy and delicious this highlight looks. I'm gonna go ahead and set using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. <clears throat> Let me not talk while I'm trying to set my face. We're basically done at this point. I just gotta do the lips and add a little mascara to my bottom lashes. And we're good to go. Let's actually get that mascara on right now. This is my favorite of all time. For my natural lashes, actually, this is still my favorite combo. The Lawless One and Done Mascara with the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I actually use the Tarte one first and then I end with this. This is really good. Um, but I also especially love this one for bottom lashes because it does not bleed and make you have raccoon eyes at the end of your event. So we apply that. Nothing has changed about the signature lip, okay? We're still going in with the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Strong. And then for the inner part of my lip, we are doing the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Wifey. This lip combo gives every single time. For gloss, I'm gonna use my Fenty Gloss Balm on top. This is the shade Sweet Mouth. It's like a really pretty glittery light pink. And this is the face. This is the face done. Let's bring this hair down, y'all. We also need to talk about my hair a little bit because I tried some new products that are not necessarily new, but it's from a brand that I've tried before and I've openly talked about how their products don't work in my hair. And I tried some of their newer products with my newer regimen that I have been doing with my hair lately. And we have achieved something beautiful here. Of course, I will share more details at some point, but just know that another bomb wash and go combo is coming to you real soon. To feel really pretty, but just to feel like the glam that I did, the look that I did, the look that I'm giving looks like me, feels like me, it's giving me energy. That's one of the things I am really big on this year actually, is just leaning into me. I'm really actually focused on consuming less content and creating more content. So less time of me scrolling and looking at what everybody else is doing and just really digging deep, figuring out a way to share, you know, more of me with y'all in my way, despite what everybody else is doing, you know? So yeah, it just feels good when things feel aligned. All right, boom. So this is gonna be the final look for hair and makeup. Let me know what you guys think about this makeup look, some of the products we used. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. I will meet you there. I will be chatting with all of you. I am about to go ahead and probably walk Hershey and then come back inside, figure out what the heck I'm gonna wear and then head out to the event. I am gonna be taking you along my decision-making process for my outfit and along the event itself on my TikTok and Instagram. So make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on there if you're interested in seeing how the rest of this day goes. Hey yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and for chilling with me while I applied my makeup. I will catch y'all next week for another video. Bye!